purpose of this video tutorial is to show you how we can solve the problem set out in section 10.11 using Excel. First of all using matrix inversion and secondly using Kramer's rule. The problem is set out in the text and you'll see that the first thing we have to do is take the inverse of the 3 by 3 matrix A. If we take the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix we also get a 3 by 3 matrix. So we use Excel and highlight the 3 by 3 cells. With that done we press equals to tell it that we're going to use a function M I N V E R S E and then we highlight the matrix A. We press close brackets and then importantly we press shift control and enter and there we get the inverse of our matrix A. We're now going to multiply the inverse of the matrix A which is a 3 by 3 matrix by this vector Z which is a 3 by 1. If we multiply a 3 by 3 by 3 by 1 we get a 3 by 1 vector. So we highlight in Excel a 3 by 1 space. We press equals to that we're going to use a function mm mult for matrix multiplication and we're going to take our inverse of A comma and then select the second array which is this vector Z close brackets shift control and enter and there we have our results 3 minus 1 and 2. It's also possible to solve this problem using Kramer's rule and we have the the question set out here. So here we've got our matrix A and we've created three sub matrices by taking the vector Z and here putting it in the first column, here putting it in the second column and here putting it in the third column. Now in order to implement Kramer's rule we need to use, we need to find the determinant of the matrix. Excel has an inbuilt function to calculate the determinant of any matrix. We press equals M D A T E R M. Highlight the matrix A, close brackets, return minus 21 and we'll repeat this for the three sub matrices no here because we're not the result isn't an array we don't need to press shift control and enter Now with the three determinants we can find x1, x2 and x3. x1 of this course the determinant of this submatrix divided by the determinant of A, which gives us the answer 3. x2 is equal to the determinant of this submatrix divided by the determinant of A, which gives us minus 1. And x3 is the determinant of this third submatrix divided by the determinant of A, just for completeness. That should be a 3. And there we have our answer, 3 minus 1 and minus 2, which is the same as what we achieved by matrix inversion, 3 minus 1 and minus 2.